Hello and welcome in this new video. Today uh, it will be a tutorial video for Dolphin 3D. In the last few days I had some requests uh, from some doctors. They asked me how to calculate the airways uh, in Dolphin 3D. So today I will show you how to do that in this tutorial video. So let's start it. I already uh, imported a daikon in Dolphin, so um, I think you will know how to do that. And when the daikon is inside Dolphin, we have different tools and different possibilities, and one of that is uh, sinus and airways. So we will start to click here, sinus and airways. And in the sinus airway tool, we have basically two possibilities. Uh, we can measure the lower airways or the upper airways. Also, we have two tools, the sinus airways tool and the upper constricted airways tool with the color map, that is a new system to calculate the airways. Today I will check the sinus airway system in this tutorial video. So first of all, uh, let's start with the lower airways. So let's see how to do that. Uh, first of all, we can basically um, draw a, a line, a path, clicking with the mouse, with the left uh, click of the mouse. So we can click and we can define a path around the airways like this. And we can draw this path around the airways that we want to measure. Okay, so in this case, it's uh, that uh, area. Uh, as you can see, I try to make the line uh, so that I, uh, I have used some reference points, and this is quite important. I mean, you, you need to choose your reference point to make this path, especially if you want to calculate airways volume uh, before and after surgery. Uh, because you need to have some kind of uh, references that you will use before and after surgery to have basically the volume of the same airway uh, area, or the same airway um, part. So uh, you need to choose and to pick this uh, particular point. After that, uh, I need to add a seed point. The seed point is basically the point that will tell the dolphin where the air is. And with this set point, we are going to make a kind of segmentation. So the segmentation is created by uh, this uh, cursor that is basically a threshold. We define a threshold from where we want to define the air. Okay? And we have two options. One is the quick and the other one is the HU. Uh, the quick is just one number that is going from 0 to 100. So basically, we, we divide the um, densities of the daikon voxels in 100 parts. That is not very scientific, probably, and so we introduced a new system that is similar, but it's using HU, so the unsphere units, that is the physical value of the density of the voxels. So uh, moving this uh, slider here, I can go and fill up basically the airway with this uh, color, and uh, I am basically doing a semi-automatic segmentation of the airway. Uh, if I click with the mouse, I also can move up and down and left and right, and I can change the contrast and the luminosity of the um, slice, okay, of the slice of the daikon. Uh, probably I want to move uh, like this, so I can define uh, better the edges of this structure, and then I can adjust a little bit the airway to fill up everything like this. Okay, so when this is done, uh, I can go to update airway and the software will calculate the volume of this particular uh, part of the airways. It's here, so we can rotate, we can turn off the soft tissue, and here we are. When we are here, we can do a couple of things. Uh, of course, we can save this workup to change it later, so I can save the workup. I can save this uh, as a surface in the Dolphin database. Okay, I have a specific slot that is airway surface, so I can save it. And then when I go back to Dolphin 3D, I will see this surface uh, together with the volume of the daikon. I, I can also send a snapshot to the Dolphin database, and I can save this screenshot. But one of the most interesting parts is, of course, the possibility to read here the volume in terms of uh, uh, cubic millimeters. Okay, and the other thing is that we are able uh, to calculate the minimum axial area of the airway. If I click on this option, I have these two lines. I can move one line here, I can move the other line uh, here. 
And so Dolphin, if I click on Find Now, will calculate all the slices, okay, parallel to these two lines, and one of these slices will be the minimum access slice. So it's this one. And the area of this uh, um, cross section is 73 square millimeters. Beautiful. Okay. So the other uh, thing that I want to show you uh, was basically one of the questions uh, is how to calculate the upper airways volumes. Okay, so let's remove everything from here, right? And let's see how to do that. So first of all, uh, we need to proceed in the same way. So what we can do is, uh, for example, to click uh, around here and to make uh, a line that is uh, going around uh, the structures that we want to measure. For example, we can go something like this. All right, and close the path. Then again, we need to add a seed point as we did before. So I can go to add, I take one seed point and I can add this seed point here. But as you can see, I'm going to have uh, segmented only this area, this particular area because uh, the different um, uh, area of these uh, airways, they are not very well connected, so basically the seed point is not able to go through all of them. What we have to do, basically, is to add multiple seed points. This is the how to do that. So we click another seed point, and we get this uh, area here, another one, and we get this area here, then we add maybe another one, and we take this area here. And finally, this one, another one. And then we have this area segmented here. Now, there is another thing that the airway, of course, they are also in this direction. So here we have uh, this cursor. If I move the cursor, I can go through different cross sections. And if I go in different cross sections, you can see that we have. Uh, basically some parts of the airways that are still in black because somehow the segmentation from that seed point is not arriving in this specific um, area of the airways. So what we have to do? We have to add multiple seed points also here in this cross section. So I add another one here. Normally, if I have several uh, structures, I click two or three times, for example, like this, and then I just move the point in the place where I want to make the segmentation. Okay, so basically you have to continue, you can zoom also, you have to continue to fill up all these structures and eventually you can adjust a little bit the sensitivity to fill up the structures better, like this. Okay? So uh, this is the idea, so you can basically move through all the cross-section and add seed points. So this is pretty clear, I guess. And uh, when this procedure is completed, you can finally uh, define um, your airway. So I can do a couple of more points just to show you how it works. But of course, to have a, a complete uh, segmentation, you need to, to take your time and to add multiple seed points. Just because this different uh, area are not very well connected and uh, we need to tell the dolphin where to find the airway. So, you can also go to the front view here. When you go to the front view, you are able to add maybe more suit points here. This is another way. Okay, also we can see here that we have a cut because basically uh, you can go to the four views. Uh, when you go to the four views, you have the possibility to adjust these points and to see in real time how they impact. Um, the front of you. Okay, so like this, for example. You can see now this is fill up. Of course, uh, there are some missing points here, so I can add. Oops. I can also draw, I can also make uh, a path here, okay, to contain the airway in this area. So I can do multiple paths. And actually, I can do also a path here, okay? So basically, I'm going to contain also, in this view, the air inside this area. 
And let's have a look if there are some escaping parts because somehow there is an escaping from this uh, area. So it looks good. Update area. Now we have our structures and our volume. Of course, what you can do here is to fine tune. So you can have a seed between points here. You can have one more here. So the idea is to go back and forward between this view, okay, and this view, for example, this one, and to fill up the remaining parts of the area. Then we can update the airway, and this is the final result. Okay, beautiful. This is how to calculate airway in Dolphin 3D, uh, upper and lower airways. Uh, if you want to learn more about Dolphin, uh, I do training one by one. Uh, by Zoom, uh, so you can contact me, you can tell me which topics do you want to um, learn and we can arrange together the connection, the program, the agenda and everything. So if you want to learn more about Dolphin, just contact me, I will be very happy to, to give you some information. So thank you very much and see, and see you the next time. Thank you.